Hi, it's Ashley with Court Reserve. Today I'm going to take you through how to set up the new player portal settings. First, you'll scroll down to portal settings and go over to the blue website button. See all of the tabs here at the top? Each video that we do will help take you through what that actual tab does. So today we're going to focus on the general tab here. Now, the base background color is really all about your buttons, categories, your sidebars, checkboxes, etc. So let me take you over to the member portal and look for this pink color. So if we jump over to our new player member portal, if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the fuchsia pink here as well as this button. And if you have any social media links, that will be indicated here. Now, if we scroll back to the top and hover over events, let's go to the list. You'll see that these buttons are that pink fuchsia color as well as this text here and the sidebars here. If you were to check off on any of these categories or days of the week, this would be that color as well. If we click this details button, we'll flow through and see that a couple more places is that base color. Now, an important thing to note as an admin or staff is that if you hover over my account, we have two admin staff buttons now. Admin panel is what the old blue admin button used to be and will take you back to those settings. Or if you want to continue setting up your player portal, just click website settings. So that is the base color and base text color. Now we're going to talk about what the header background color is and that header text color. If we jump back over to the member portal, you'll see this is our header color, the base, as well as our text color is in white. Now we're going to talk about the body background color. So if I jump over to the player portal, you will see that this lime green is that body background color. If I jump over to maybe the member directory, you can see that this is still that lime green. So if you wanted to, I bet most would leave this as a color of white, but again, you can make this your very own for what your organization likes and wants. Okay, the next one we'll go over is the page title background color and the text color. So let's go over and find this court reserve green. So if we jump over to the member portal, we can see this in a couple places. We can go down to um, maybe there's a player that's been registered. We can look at my events. You can see that green is here. Oh, here's that pink fuchsia we did earlier. We can also see this under the billing tab. So basically this is any page title color and then that would be the text color as well. Our next color is the footer background color as well as the footer text color. We've chosen a blue, so if we jump over to our player portal and scroll all the way down to the bottom, this is our footer with our text color as well. Now you can see you can hyperlink any of your social media accounts as well as um, show hours of operation in the footer. Remember the footer is the bottom of your player portal. That's what we have here or what we had in light blue earlier. You can also choose to show your organization hours of operation in the footer, or if you use custom schedulers, you can choose which custom scheduler hours you would like to display as well. So your organization hours would be those hours that are located under settings and hours of operation, or if you choose one of the custom schedulers, then it will display those hours. So you get to choose the font by which you want your text to display. My current favorite font is called Prompt, but we have put in several for you to choose from um, at your organization. And then the last thing is really the footer option. You get to choose whether you would like your footer to show on just your homepage or whether you would like to show it on all pages or even hide the footer as well. If we pop over to the player portal once more, and we scroll down to the bottom, you can see our social media um, accounts are here, the hours of operation at our organization, um, and we'll talk more about links later. So don't forget, this is the first setup video of many for the player portal. Let us know if you have any questions.